Well, on this edition of Michigan Magazine, we are always on the look for some great ideas from Michigan, and we're going to return to a gentleman who has a fantastic idea, made in Michigan product, Richard Betts. Nice to see you again. Good to see you, Barry. My goodness, and we all know Richard from the ultra-creative concept of your crawl space design, designed to help many people save a lot of dollars, which we're all interested in nowadays because of the economy, and just knowing that we're not wasting things. Right. Now, we put a lot, we don't really put that much of a stock in crawl space. A lot of people don't realize what kind of energy savings we do have in a crawl space if it's a vent like this that we can utilize. I mean, people see crawl spaces and they see vents, but they don't know what they're really doing as far as saving or what that vent is for. Tell us a little bit about the concept of a crawl space and what you've come about to do. Crawl spaces are really misunderstood. Mm -hmm. uh, there's. It's a tremendous need for a consumer to be able to understand that the heat that is put into the above the crawl space, above the subfloor, can be actually drawn down into the crawl space because of the temperature differential. Hot goes to cold. You can actually pull the heat from above the crawl space. That's why the subfloors are cold in homes that are built on crawl spaces. Mm -hmm. Women know this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, women, women throw their <laughs> feet up on the couch and they throw their afghan right, over right, top right. of them and you can't convince them right. that the floor is not cold. It's yes. cold. Women are smart. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> now, the, the, what I would like to tell people is this heat actually is drawn down into the crawl space and then is sucked out under pressure because of the, te ter the tremendous temperature differential. The temperature differential is causing this a, a, what's called a vortex scenario where it draws okay. it down into the crawl space and then out through the crawl space vents because the crawl space vents are not sealed. They're only closed mechanically. Contractors put a vent that meets code but may not necessarily be able to be sealed. It can be mechanically closed but not sealed. Mm -hmm. If it's not sealed then the heat is sucked down into the crawl space and out through the crawl space uh, uh, vents and right out through into the wild blue yonder. Right, okay? right, right. Literally, it'd be like leaving the windows open while you're trying to heat your house. Uh huh. Okay. okay. Right. And these are just basically little windows. Mm -hmm. And I can show you on a vent. Now, this is a typical vent that is used in a home. Okay, okay that's pretty much what many people might see. Right. Pretty much most people have one similar to this. It's a slider vent, mm -hmm. and you can open it and shut it. Opening it, it would give ventilation during the summertime. Right closing it as opposed to then keep the heat on inside right. the crawl space. Okay. However, and as I've showed you before, when you hold it up to the light, you literally can read a newspaper through it mm -hmm. without even missing a word. Here's one that's uh, made by uh, a manufacturer and sold in some major companies. Mm -hmm. It's called the automatic vent, okay? Okay. It's known, known by a lot of different names, but it's called an automatic vent. And people like that word. Automatic. Automatic. No well, problem. It's a good word, isn't Taking it? Taking care of for us. Yep. But the back side of it is it's just all made out of plastic. Plastic and, mesh. And very easy for a critter to, as you can see here, chew through it and b gain entrance right into your home. And they like under your home, don't they? It's yeah. warmer under the house. Wonder, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's why we live in the house, not outside, okay? Okay. So if you take it apart, then you take a look at this particular part of the of the uh, vent, and you can see that in each one of these, there's little tiny mm. rivets that have to all move simultaneously in order to be able to close the vent and or open event. A lot of this moving parts. Temperature activated. Okay. This little coil actually functions as a gear that oh, opens and shuts these vents. Okay. But the problem is, when it's shut, hmm. it's still not sealed. You oh, can yeah. see the light through yep, it. Yeah, okay? sure can, yeah. And if you can see light, then that means the heated air from back here is going to be sucked out to the wild blue yonder, mm -hmm. okay? In between each heating cycle, you can lose up to and including over 25% of your heat loss. Mm, okay? Through the crawl space vents. Yeah, right out through the crawl space vents. I have a, a wow. I've had people tell me that they've saved up to and including 50%. Hmm. Oh my. Okay. On their heat because they seal up their vents from the outside. Ah. This particular vent can be sealed from the outside. This is the vent that Ultra Creative Concepts makes. You can take these little gnarled nuts off the front. Mm hmm. Take the door off. <laughs> that fell off easy. <laughs> this is the sealer door or winter door. Okay. okay. It's not an insulation door. It's a sealer door. Okay. If a contractor and or building inspector and or yourself decides that you want to insulate, this would be the crawl space and this would represent your sill plate. These would be blocks. Okay. So there'd be a, a rectangle in here. You could fill it all the way up 
and there's a backer bar on the inside, as you can see over on this one. Right, okay. This backer bar holds the insulation then from falling out into the crawl space. Oh. So if a person wants to and has an inclination to do it, they can insulate it from the outside of their home instead of having to crawl oh down my. in behind these and put, you know, a batted insulation in behind it. Oh boy, fighting the dust and whatever right. to get inside, it's, oh. my. Those other critters, yeah, that have more than four legs. Yes, oh yeah, the I spiders don't and bugs. About them guys. The, uh, you don't have to battle them. <laughs> <laughs> but you can insulate it from yes. the outside. Uh -huh. You can put a sealer door on it then, okay, mm -hmm. and put the summer door back on. If I can see it over there, there we go. The sealer door goes back on it. The little gnarled nuts goes on it, and now it's sealed up for the winter time from the outside of the home. Yeah. A oh very my. easy task. Okay? And just as you did it right here, that's as long as it would take. That's as long Compared as it to would. some of the other ones you have to crawl in back. And now stuff we in also, when we install these, and it's, it's recommended in our installation instructions, okay, we actually put a caulk, this type of DAP caulk right here. Mm -hmm. We put a 35 year, goes on uh, white, dries clear. You can use clear caulk too if you want, but we put it all the way around the top part, up in the sill plate here, all the way around so you have a sealed unit. Then when you put your insulation in, if you so desire, put your insulation in behind it and put your, your sealer door on. Now you're keeping the heat on the inside mm -hmm. of the crawl space. Mm -hmm. Less frozen pipes, mm. no situation frozen pipes, warmer subfloors, the furnace has to kick on less times, and the heat stays in the house longer. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's Ooh. real really simple if you think about it. You wouldn't build a house put a foundation, put a subfloor, put the insulation, insulated walls up, put the doors and windows in appropriately and tape and seal around all them and then put a, a roof on and put a ceiling and put in lots of insulation above the ceiling and then when the furnace uh, season kick comes on and you wouldn't open the windows and try to heat the outside, would you? <laughs> right? Well, my wife says I do that every once in a while. <laughs> that's what that's, people are doing with these yes, other vents. Yes, exactly. If they don't seal, they lose heat. It's What's like leaving the windows open. Mm -hmm. This is a replacement vent. I'm just telling you that there's all kinds of replacement vents out there, but this is one that's typical. It has major problems. This one has about 70, I think it's 76 square inches of free airflow. It has a real screen that keeps the critters out mm -hmm. that they're not going to chew through. Mm -hmm. Okay. It also is made out of ABS plastic, which is paintable. Mm -hmm. You know, you can go down to Sherman Williams and find out that for a fact. And it's very durable, and it looks sharp on the side of a home. It sure does. It sure does. Okay. And and the, and the simple thing about it is, is it's simple to do it. Thirty right. seconds, and you've done it. Right. Yeah, I tell them. Amazing. I tell them, big football fans, you can do it at halftime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>